Is Jesus God or part of God? Let us carefully, critically and objectively read the following parts of verses reported in Matthew 4, 1 to 10. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he, the devil, said to him, Jesus, All these I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Did these verses trigger any questions or thoughts in your mind? Let me share with you some of the questions and thoughts that struck my mind after reading those above verses. 1. The Bible says, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert. I wonder who has more authority and more power, Jesus or the Spirit? Why didn't Jesus lead himself into the desert if he were God? Does God need someone to lead him? 2. Based on the testimony of the above verses, the devil, Satan, tempted Jesus, who is considered to be God by some Christians. The simple and logical question that could be raised is, can God be tempted? The same Bible tells us that God can't be tempted. This fact is uttered by Jesus in the same story of temptation. Similarly, James, the brother of Jesus, said, God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself tempts no one. James 1, 13. 3. The Bible reports that after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he, Jesus, was hungry. Let's reason together. Does God fast? To whom was Jesus fasting? To himself as God or to someone who is greater than him? Does God feel hungry or thirsty? 4. In the story of The Temptation of Jesus, you find this heading in several Bibles. We came to discover that the devil, Satan, moved and controlled Jesus. Did Satan do that with Jesus the man or Jesus the God? If Satan did that with Jesus the man, what is the point? And if the devil did that with Jesus the God, can God be tried, moved and controlled? Let's remember James's words. God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself tempts no one. At the end of the dialogue between Jesus and Satan, and after Satan asks Jesus to fall down and worship him, Jesus said to the devil, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Matthew 4, 10 I assume if Jesus were God incarnate, he may have easily responded, No, Satan, it is you who must fall down and worship me, your God. But instead, he invoked the above scripture about worshipping the true God only. On the other hand, we learn from the story that Satan saw Jesus. Satan said to Jesus, Satan heard Jesus. Satan took Jesus. Satan showed Jesus. Satan spoke with Jesus. Please read the whole story of the temptation of Jesus, Matthew 4, 1 to 10. But the Bible emphatically indicates that God cannot be seen or heard. No one has ever seen him and no one can see him. 1 Timothy 6, 16 You have never heard his voice nor seen his shape. John 5, 37 Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honour and glory forever and ever. Amen. 1 Timothy 1, 17 Additionally, before I conclude this section, let me ask, during Jesus' life on earth, didn't his family, people and followers see and hear him? Therefore, according to the description of God in the above verses, Jesus cannot be God. Isn't this reasonable and logical? So what is the truth? 
Think about it.